Lions TV, full time from the DW Stadium via my front room. It finishes. We're going to flex it two. Millwall one. Once again, we lose against a team low down in the division. Back to back defeats. Now in the league, once again, not a happy hunting ground for us. Uh, not playoff performances or playoff form. Miles from it, in fact. And now we've got Blackburn and West Brom breathing down our necks. Both teams have two games in hand on us. Um, Blackburn a point behind. West Brom two points behind. And people will say, well, we still got hope. It's not over. Um, and, you know, these teams, West Brom have got Burnley. Preston have got to play Black, uh, Blackburn. So, yeah, I know that. But it's out of our hands now. And it should have been well in our hands. And even if those teams don't get the results, this isn't playoff form or playoff performances. And why is that? I think it's a combination of things which I'll get into now. Firstly, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's the fucking goalkeeper. And I said for a long time it'll cost us. And he has on numerous occasions. Once again, I'll tell you when people go back, Bart's lost it. Why? Bart Balkowski was a back-to-back player of the season. Done nothing wrong to get dropped. Not one thing. But he got dropped for Long because Long had a big kick. But Long 70-yard... Kicks downfield are no good for the likes of Callum Styles to try and Edwards. No good for Tom Bradshaw to try and get hold of the ball. Um, so again, I would say that's due to Rowett. Accepting that he can't play football and we've got to change the way we play, but also accepting that you know, the players he's got aren't good enough to play the way he wants to play. And this isn't a defamation of Gary Rowett because I'm going to stick up for him shortly. Um, but the first goal, they come down our left-hand side. It's a cross into the box. Uh, George Long dies full length and parries it into the path of their oncoming striker. Now, the George Long back as amongst you will say, oh, well, he's got a good hand on the cross and no one's um, no one's done anything about it. No one's protected the goalkeeper. No one's followed in. The reason they haven't followed in is because I've got no confidence in the goalkeeper. They've got no confidence in the goalkeeper and they know he's not good enough. I've seen him take numerous bollockings from Hutchinson, Cooper, saying to him, like, what the fuck are you doing? George Long has dived full length there, okay, He's dived full length at six foot three. It, the cross was about four yards out. He's in the middle of the goal and he's landed in the middle of the goal. Because his footwork and his positioning is so bad, he should have just been shuffling his feet across and collecting that. But because he doesn't go anywhere either when he dives, he sort of does his thing where he falls back and flicks his hand. And he doesn't go anywhere. He doesn't project. His footwork's terrible. His position is terrible. He is not up to this fucking standard of football. And as a result, we can go one nil up. Now, look, again... It had a defamation of Gary Rowett. It's also not of George Long because our issues run deeper than that. We can't get into the game for whatever reason and the small pattern of play and time we have where we actually do, we score a really, really good goal. It comes out of the back. It comes from back to front from our right back position. Uh, Cooper, Mitchell, Styles, Bradshaw, all involved for George Savile to slam home. And there you think, there you go. We've woken up. It's going to happen. When we score that goal, it cuts to our bench and Gary Rowett is screaming at the players and a lip read perfectly what he said. He said to them, keep getting forward. That was Rowett's instructions. So for those of you who say, oh, Rowett don't want, to, don't want us to, to attack, the club don't want us to go up, it's bullshit. Right? The players, and Rowett has alluded to this before, are not big game players. Their arsehole falls out when we get near the summit or get near where we want to be. That's a fact. Gary Rowett's alluded to that before. Um, so Rowett doesn't want us to defend. Gary Rowett has put a team out there today to try and win the game. Okay, that's why he started Styles high. That's why he started Ollie Burke. Scott Malone's now a much more attacking left back than Murray Wallace is. We couldn't get much more attacking than we already are without completely changing the formation and going all Ian Holloway and just frying players on everywhere, which doesn't work. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we get to half time. And after half time, we're on top. Without really creating too much danger for the opposition, I just felt we was pressing high. I felt we was turning them over high. I felt that they could sense, as well as our players and the fans, that you know it was only a matter of time. But we pressed high and did all this good work without really creating a great deal, other than a shot from Zian Fleming. Uh, the goalkeeper pushes over, over the bar, straight at him. Fleming was completely elusive in the game, other than that, in my opinion. Um, crossing to the box from Burke does really well. Bradshaw can't connect. It goes across like a rocket and Callum Styles as well. Just can't get on the end of it. Um, it was unlucky to not do so. And after that, we can start to come back into the game. Then we make substitutions. And people going, bring SA on, bring Watmore on. I guarantee they're the same people that if we started SA and Watmore going, why ain't Burke playing? Why are we not started Styles? 
We've got a lot of players, a lot of wingers, all playing the same position. Oli Burke's the best by a mile, make no mistake. And if you don't think that, then I, I don't know wh why you're watching football as a spectacle because he's a very good player and he's the best of what we've got in, in them areas. What more potentially could be, but he hasn't got going yet. He's new to the club and he needs, I think, a pre-season inside him. SA is a great young prospect for us. Fantastic he's at the club. But you saw when he come on that he he's a player that needs to come on when we, you know, we're teams are sitting back and we're trying to unlock a door. He's not a starter at this club, in my opinion. I may be wrong. You let me know in the comments. Um, and then we get caught going forward too much, and we can get their winner. You know, we're caught short at the back. We're pressing for the for the for the win, but without even hurting the opposition. Taking Tom Bradshaw off really puzzled me. I don't know why he did that because Bradshaw was playing really well in the game, feeding off scraps and balls up to him, neck height, waist height, running away from goal. But he won all his flick ons. His hold up play was really good. Um, but he was substituted. He did have some like black tape on the back of his neck. The black tape you sort of see on people's calves or or hamstrings or groins. So I don't know if that was something to do with why Bradshaw was removed. But as soon as he goes off, we lose all shape. We've got neither strikers at the club. Um, and again, I've blamed them this one and that one. For that reason, you know, we are shallow in our squad. And I have said that I felt that would fuck us up this season at some point. And it has. It has now. We've got neither options on the bench. Um... Someone said in the video the other day, Benik Afobe would have been better than no one. I do agree with that, but again, you don't know what's going on in Afobe's personal life, and he wanted to get out there. We can't mount a serious championship playoff assault with one striker at the club. We did try to buy Kevin Nisbet during the, the transfer window, and for whatever reason, he didn't sign. Um, well, I know the reason he didn't sign, but I won't say it. It wasn't the club's fault, I can tell you that much. Um, so we've lost the game, and I, I just don't know where I stand with it, to be honest with you. I mean, Rowett picking a goalkeeper is not right, in my opinion. People blaming Rowett, saying, you know, he doesn't want to attack. I've seen him say, he's like, words come out of his mouth. Keep getting forward. Um, the patterns of play are there, and when we, when we execute them, they're good. You know, we create a lot of chances. Today, we didn't create a lot of chances, and we scored one goal from one chance, pretty much. And that's a really good pattern of play. From that point, I would expect the players to go on and take the ball by the horns and go, there you go, that's better. We are pulling apart when we're going forward. And let's continue to do so, but it didn't happen. And now it is an uphill battle. And now I don't expect us to make the plus. I never expected us to go up, to be honest. So, row it in, row it out. You'll all have your say in the comments, and I'll have a look at them and try and respond to a few. But we have lost at the DW Stadium by two goals to one. Well done to the travelling lines that followed. I really, really feel for you. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.